Hey there, Matt Capricorns, welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge. And if this found you, or if you found this, chances are there are messages in here for you. We are right now going home to the kingdom, the queendom of heaven within. And uh, we have now stepped into, or we are right now stepping into the age of Aquarius where we're going, it's so beautiful. It's higher dimensionally. And uh, we're moving from this very dense, heavy fear-based reality with a lot of illusions and confusions and things like that and lack and sorrow and um, very murky waters where divinity was hidden from us and we're moving to this very pure love-based reality. Perfect love casts out all fear. So thank you for uh, journeying through these jungles of time and space with me. Not sure what's going to come out, but we'll go ahead and we'll pull some cards and we'll get into it. We'll see what's going on, Capricorns, for your week ahead. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Elias, White Light, I now invite you in. I ask for clear, concise messages, guidance for the Capricorns. May these messages reach them exactly whomever needs to see them. May these messages uplift them and provide guidance, illumination, anything that they may need for the best and the highest good. I have three cards, please, Holy Spirit. All right, there's one. Ooh. All right, Ten of Swords, stars in the back. Uh, real quick to you as... For someone out there, I'm not sure if this is gonna come out in this reading, but I oh, almost fully recorded a reading for y'all. And uh, the last one was kind of, if you're thinking about sending a message or something, uh, I was getting that overwhelmingly, like super clear, strongly, like go for it, send the message. I get like someone's going back and forth right now. Maybe they're afraid to send it. Maybe they're afraid of, um, I, I'm getting that like, uh, when I like invite someone or something, whatever it is, like there's no need to be afraid. There's, I'm getting you're freaking out about it more than it actually needs to be stressed out about. If you send it, I'm getting, you're just gonna get super good results, Capricorns. So, uh, I, I don't know if that's gonna, how that's gonna play into this reading, but we'll go ahead and we'll see. We'll pull more cards. Holy like Spirit, Guardian Angel, Slice My Life. I have two more cards, please. So far we have a ton of swords out. Get four two more cards, please. For the week ahead, whatever they need to know. Prince of Wands, this could be delayed. This is kind of like the uh, Page of Wands. This could be like a delayed message or something like that, or you write in your line. I don't know, we'll see. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Science, my light. I have another card piece from my beautiful Capricorns. The Devil. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest of my light. Actually, if y'all see here, y'all, uh, I had this upside down, the Ten of Swords set upside down. And the Devil, I set this upside down. With the Prince of Wands in the center right side up. So maybe this Ten of Swords, this Devil energy, whatever it is. Um, maybe that's on its way out. Maybe that's something that you've already experienced. The uh, Eight of Cups uh, was flipped up on the bottom of the deck. This is uh, walking away from what is ready to be walked away from, setting off on a new journey. Maybe you're walking away from this Devil energy, this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords energy is like something hit you, like came through your life, like a freight train. Really heavy energy it took the wind out of your cells. It could be different levels for different wild animals watching uh, with the Ten of Swords. Uh, but for whatever level you're at, whatever, it, it just feels like uh, the Ten of Swords energy is like something just coming through like a freight train and just like, exhausting you. Uh, just Pretty much there's no more stars to go on your back, no more room. Holy Spirit, Garden and Angel, Slice My Light. I have a card piece for the overall energy for my Capricorns for the head, whatever it is that we need to know. Alright, 
King of Pentacles. All right, this is you. Uh, King of Pentacles, this is someone very wealthy, very stable. Maybe you're having a good financial week. Getting to there's a lot of light. These other cards, the Devil, Ten of Swords, Prince of Wands, at nighttime. And then this right here, I'm getting the sun like this coming out or going to be filled with a lot of light this week. Place the Spirit Guardian Angel size while I might have another card please for my cap cards, whatever it is that they need to know. The star, alright, beautiful. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, last Friday. I have a uh, clarifier for this devil and for Ten of Swords energy that we're looking at here. Will of Fortune. Will is turning in your favor. This actually landed on the Star card, the King of Pentacles. So, again, I'm getting this devil energy is leaving your life. It's being dealt with. King of Wands, more. Uh, Whoever you're watching, your a king uh, gender does not matter. It's just uh, energy. But you're someone charismatic, a great leader. Curious about this devil and ten of swords. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, nice man. I um, have clarifiers for this devil and ten of swords here. All right, uh, queen of swords flipped out. Um, Queen of Swords speaking your truth. Uh, I just maybe what it is like I was saying with that sending the message, thinking about it. Maybe you're trying to send a message. You're this king, and you're thinking about sending this message to this Queen of Swords, speaking your truth to this Queen of Swords. I don't know if I showed y'all. I don't know if when I flipped out, but this is the Queen of Swords. That's what came out to clarify the devil. And I really feel like someone is uh, really going back and forth in their minds thinking about sending this message or not. Um, Ten of Wands was swept up on the bottom of the deck. Again, that's heavy, heavy backbreaking mental energy oppression. Ten of Swords. you're thinking about sending a message right now um you're gonna feel so much better when you send it this ten of swords this devil energy this ten of wands i'm really getting this as like your self-imposed or whatever it's your like your ego trying to talk to you um putting fear fear in your fearful thoughts in your spirit Maybe afraid of rejection, something like that. Also, the temperance was on the top of the deck, underneath the ten of wands. Could be angel of balance balancing you out. I'm getting you'll feel much more. I mean, as soon as like as soon as you said that, you're gonna feel much more balanced, much better. Dealing with the Wheel of Fortune, the star. It's going to turn in your favor. It's going to work out for you. Um, Holy Spirit Guardian. Oh. Hermit kind of landed sideways. Maybe you're dealing with the Virgo, or it doesn't have to be. Maybe you've been quiet for a little bit and been really staying to yourself trying to think about what you're going to say or something like that that could be you 
Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Eyes, My Life, uh, Mad Capricorns may have a message uh, that we can head. What do they need to know after they send this message? Wow, a whole bunch just flipped out. But uh, these two were flipped up, right side up, and the rest. The Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Y'all see that rainbow? And uh, Six of Pentacles also flew out too. Kindness, charity, receiving help. Yeah, um, I, all I can really tell y'all, my Capricorns, is uh, send this message. If you've been thinking about sending, I'm getting like, I uploaded this, I recorded this reading yesterday, and I got all the way through it, and I was just about to wrap it up, and then I stopped recording. And I'm like. No, I'm not feeling it. Uh, no, I just, I, I stopped it. Then all, 24 hours after that, I was like, oh man, I gotta do that reading all over again. I should have just finished it or something like that. So, you know, that same burden was still there. If you've been going back and forth and maybe you've typed something out and you've almost sent it and then you deleted it, something like that. And just gotta send it, my Capricorns. It's gonna be all right. Judgment. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're gonna know if this is for you if it resonates. And if it does resonate, please send that message. You will not be disappointed. At least that devil energy, the ten of swords, all that like stress that you're giving yourself, all that could go away. And then you can take a deep breath and then you can move on. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Sire, Twilight. Um, may I have a card please for whoever will be receiving this message if they're gonna send one. goodness I was totally thinking it I didn't say it I wish I would have but I was like this is totally a love message whoever was thinking about sending I'm getting it's like a you're sending it to a potential you know love interest or something like that of course the lovers flew out come on Capricorns oh, it's so beautiful Holy Spirit Guardian Angel Sly Twilight I have a card please for whatever energy they're going to be in by the end of the week, by the end of the week for my Capricorns. Seven of Wands, uh, you're going to be courageous. I was, I was just joking. It was coming to me. It was like, you're going to be fighting off like your, because if you send the message or whatever, I feel like you're going to be fighting off your potential lover in a playful way. I'm getting very playful, very flirty. This is you like pillow fighting with your lover. I don't know. Um, that was just coming to me. It doesn't have to be you, but um, with the seven of wands, you're going to be feeling very courageous by the end of the week, very victorious, very strong. Also too, he's like, um, It's almost like he's standing on top of the world. I'm really seeing like a globe there at the bottom. So maybe you're gonna be feeling like you're on top of the world by the end of the week. Play Spirit, Guardian Angel, Science Why I have two final cards to wrap up this message for the Capricorns, whatever they need to know for the week ahead. The best and highest good. King of Pentacles, love it. I, um, again, this was the original card that came out for the overall energy for y'all this week, and you're going to be feeling, uh, again, just to tie it all together, I feel like you're really going to be feeling like a boss this week. So 
up to you if you want to send a message or not. But what's the worst that could happen? All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, that is my light. Last card, please. Last card for my beautiful Capricorns, my wild animals for the weekend. Whatever they need to know, final card. Wrap this message up for them. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, last card. Uh, well, it's a two for one. And I have to take both of these for Scott's too. So we had the lovers fly out of two of cups. Love, very satisfying love, very... romantic type love it doesn't have to be apply it how it fits and then our six of cups are pleasure look they're playing under the moonlight they're splashing they're thoroughly enjoying one another's company all right my capricorns that's what i got for you for this week Really getting someone like uh, two 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 on the clock. Someone like I don't know if it's on a phone or a computer, but uh, they've already like written it out, and maybe it's been days or whatever. Where you've been like rereading it and thinking about it or whatever, and you haven't pushed sent yet. It's like I haven't finished this reading yet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you to all my beautiful new subscribers. I get more every day. And if you would like to subscribe, go ahead. Um, I'd love to have you. And it helps me as well to tap further into uh, the energy of what's going on out there. We are going home to the kingdom, queendom of heaven within. We truly are. And... Uh, for all y'all watching out there, you know, some people may believe me, some people may not, but I bet you all are curious for the ones who don't quite 100% believe. And uh, that's okay, but just know it's gonna get better and better and better and better and better and better and better. Major Catch y'all next week.